Good afternoon. I want to take this occasion to, to call your attention to a situation which many of you are aware of in light of everything else that might be going on in the press in the United States and in the world, the situation in Syria. It brings tears to all of our hearts because of the many, particularly the children and the older people who are suffering, but not just them. The wives who are losing their husbands, the mothers who are losing their sons, the sons who are losing their parents. And so we're looking at a situation, a real crisis in Syria that continues. And unfortunately, the best of our knowledge will continue for some time. Particularly, I, I, met on, I just met three days ago with one of the friars who has just returned from Aleppo. And we spoke by telephone with friars in Aleppo uh, three days ago. We heard first-hand reports of the bombings and the attacks on innocent civilians, and again, particularly on children, on women and, and the elderly who have been left in the city. And so I want to first thank you for the support that you have already given for, for the appeal for Syria. Obviously, this appeal, we, we have to extend it. We have to continue, probably, to ask for some assistance. Uh, to date, we've been able to provide uh, sources of fresh water. Uh, many of the water supplies have been either polluted or poisoned uh, or cut off uh, by one, one group or the other. And so we're able to provide fresh water for people who need it in order to survive. We've been able also to provide uh, oil. Now as the season turns cool and cold, and it's already turning cold in Aleppo, so the oil that we're able to provide allows people to be able to stay in their homes and continue to stay with the few members of family that, that remain, to be able to continue to try to live some form of dignified life. But in effect, what I heard from the friars in Aleppo and what I heard from the Custos of the Holy Land uh, were horrible stories. Stories of, of them, even them seeing children being, being slaughtered before their very eyes. Children in the hospitals being killed as hospitals are being bombed. And so I hate to even give this bad news. The one thing I will say though is the people, the Christians of Aleppo, the Muslims, other people are trying to unite and trying to hold together. They're not fighting among themselves. They find that their identity is, is much greater than, than the, those things that could possibly separate them. And so they're trying to create ways of being in solidarity with each other, providing assistance. When someone receives two cans of oil, they give one away. When someone receives two bottles of water, they share it with their neighbors. And this is all made possible by the support, your support, and the support of so many other people who are coming to the aid of the innocent people in Aleppo, in, in, in Hons, in other parts of Syria, where we still have a strong Franciscan presence. Our Franciscan friars, some who are Syrian, others who are not Syrian, have refused to abandon the people. They're remaining strong with the people, and they become a symbol of the hope. But even more so, they become a symbol of solidarity, the solidarity of the church. And you are part of that church and part of that solidarity. So I ask you, please continue to support the appeal for Syria. Continue to support the appeal with your prayers. Pray for the people of Aleppo, pray for the people of Syria, pray for those who are leaders, whether they be of different groups that are fighting with each other, the international forces that are present. Pray that there be some sanity that returns, there be some possibility for a new form of peace. Uh, this would be our first prayer, I think, and to pray for, pray for the families and for the individuals who suffer each day the loss of loved ones. And I ask you, please continue in whatever way possible through your support to the General Secretariat for Franciscan Missions in Waterford. Please continue to support our efforts. We are trying to demonstrate that we are with the people. We are among them. We refuse to separate ourselves because we are Franciscan. This is who we are. This is our identity, to be with and for the people always. And so may God bless you. May God strengthen you in this moment. May you not only feel that you are contributing something, but know that you are present also in Syria. And the people in Syria, from what I have received, the information I received, they are praying for your needs, for your families. They're praying for peace and, and for a good future for, for everyone. So thank you and may God bless you.